What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we're going to talk about my progress through Hal Higdon's Novice 2 Half Marathon Training Plan. I just finished week three, and it's going pretty well, so let's dive in. So the first thing you should know is that I have increased the length of the long runs uh, according to the plan. Uh, in, in the weeks leading up to starting the Half Marathon Training Plan, I ran long runs of four miles and five miles. Uh, this is to give me some cushion. Uh, I used the same training plan three years ago and building up your long run about a mile every week works well until you start missing workouts due to injury or soreness or exhaustion and I ended up missing two long runs and then I felt like my race performance suffered. So this time around I built up my long run before the plan so that I could start a little bit higher. So these long runs I built up ahead of time will build in some cushion into the plan. So if I need to miss a week, if I need to miss two weeks, um, that's okay because I have already built up some, some endurance and I can continue and hopefully get to that 12 mile long run towards the end of the plan right when I'm supposed to. And if everything goes well and I'm ahead of schedule on my long run, then I'll probably do multiple 12 mile long runs, which I think will be a, a great way to prepare for the race. Uh, so with that in mind, I just completed week three, as I said, that means I've done, uh, six, seven and eight mile long runs instead of the four five and six that are prescribed by the plan. But the middle of the week stuff is all exactly the same. Um, so week one was good. The transition to running three days in a row was very difficult for me. I was running every other day, uh, for a month or two before I started the plan. And the transition to just everyday running without that rest day in between was very tough. Um, by the third day, I was very tired, um, felt shin splints coming on, uh, even some pain in the arch of one of my feet. <clears throat> and so I tried to take it very, very easy that third day. Um, and I seemed to recover fine on the rest day. And then leading into week two, uh, I seemed back to normal. Um, but then I started week two with that same Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday run. And Wednesday felt terrible, um, really was fighting the shin splints. And Thursday, I decided to do an elliptical workout instead of a run. Um, I tried to do it for about the same intensity and time to replace the workout. Um, but other than that, it's going well. The long runs I've kept up with and I felt pretty good. Um, something about taking them very easy has allowed me to uh, you know, maintain form and complete the distances. So I decided what I really needed to do was fix my form a little bit. I have found myself heel striking and that's what's given me the shin splints. And my dog is attacking me here and so I am distracted. Um, uh, and so that has helped a lot. So I'm focusing on landing on the midfoot or forefoot and that has really solved the shin splint problem, but it means I have to pay attention a lot to my form while I'm running, um, which is a little harder work um, than just putting yourself on autopilot and cruising. So today for the eight mile run, I did something entertaining and different. Um, there's a, there was a local 5K race in my neighborhood. Um, it benefited the local elementary school and I thought, well, that'll be fun, but I need to do eight miles. What do I do? So I ran five miles in the morning. The race is at 2 p.m. And so I did five miles at about 11 a.m., got back, scarfed down some lunch, showered, I'm not sure if that made sense, and then ran again at 2 p.m., only an hour and 45 minutes after I finished the first run, uh, and ran a 5K race. Um, so that was good, and I thought I could use this to, to kind of estimate what my pace should be for my half marathon race. Uh, my 5K I ran before the training plan started was very flat, and so the comparison calculators are going to assume that the half marathon is flat, and the half marathon I'm running is not flat. It has several giant hills. So this 5K I did uh, in my neighborhood is, is certainly not flat as well. So I thought if I run it on tired legs and it has hills, then it'll be a better comparison for what I can do in the half marathon. So I didn't try and just, um, you know, built out a PR after running five miles. I just tried to keep a nice steady pace that I thought I could go fast but continue for a long time. Uh, and I was pretty happy with my results. So the five mile run that I ran this morning, I ran at 12.22 pace. That was also a hilly route. Um, it took me a little over an hour. And then the 5K race, I ran in 34.31, which is a 10.52 pace per mile. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. My, my 5K, I ran 
uh, before the training plan was about 30 minutes and 30 seconds. So uh, you can see I definitely slowed down because of the hills and the five miles I had already run, but I think that's should be expected, so all good. Um, so here we go. I'm going to keep going on the plan. Um, what do we have? Nine more weeks. Uh, that sounds like a long time, but I'll, I'll try and do some more of these updates as we go um, so other people can get the experience and decide whether this training plan might work for them. Uh, after this, I have some race footage from today's 5K. All right. Hey, guys. I'm here at the uh, 5K in my neighborhood uh, in my car because it's raining. It's about 40 degrees. I'm ready to go. Sure enough, feels like I ran five miles this morning. I am aware of the effect I have on women. <laughs> 